morning, everyone, and happy Newbery New Year. Today is the big day that the 2011 Newbery Award winner was announced. Just this morning in San Diego, thousands of librarians were gathered at the midwinter meeting of the American Library Association, waiting for the winners of the Youth Media Awards to be announced. Among these are the Caldecott for Picture Books, the Prince for Young Adult Literature, and of course, the Newbery for Children's Literature. Now, over the past 10 days, you've traveled with us through Newbury history, from the voyages of Dr. Doolittle in the 1920s to Crisp and the Cross of Lead in the 2000s. But today is all about the 2011 winner. Now, there are no official nominees for the Newbury, and the Newbury Committee keeps their discussions very hush-hush. So the winner and all the honor books were a big surprise this year, and Anne and I were scrambling to find everything <laughs> before filming today. <laughs> It doesn't stop people from speculating all year and holding mock Newberries to guess what the winner might be. Once again, there have been a lot of great books written this year that just might have what it takes to win the Newberry. Now, so without further ado, let's take a look at the honor books for this year. First up, we have Dark Emperor and Other Poems of the Night by Joyce Sidman. Get a good look there. Okay. Heart of a Samurai by Margie Proust. Yep. <laughs> Turtle in Paradise by Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Holm, who I believe has actually received Newbery Honor twice before. Right. So congratulations, Jennifer, once again. And then last but not least, One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia. Uh, big name this year at the Youth Media Awards. Uh, she just won the Coretta Scott King Author Award, as, and she also is a recipient of the Scott O'Dell Award for Historical Fiction. So, uh, congratulations, Rita Williams Garcia. But the big name this year, kind of out of the blue for me. Were you expecting this one? No, Anne? not at all. Okay, 2011 Newbery Award winner is Moon Over Manifest by Claire Vanderpool. And why don't you tell us a little bit about our winner? It's the story of 12-year-old Abilene Tucker, whose father has sent her away for the summer to his hometown of Manifest, Kansas. It's the year 1936, and since the Great Depression, this town has become a bit run down. Well, during her stay here, Abilene uncovers a local mystery. As she pieces everything together, she may be able to help this town live up to its name and also learn something about her father as well. It's a terrific blend of history and mystery. Well, we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to the second year of A Very New Very New Year, but it's time for all of us to get reading. We've included a link to the entire list of Youth Media Awards, as well as a link to the Hennepin County Library Catalog entry for this year's Newbery winner down below. So go get your books, and once again, Happy Newbery New Year!